Okay, 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 okay. Steven, did you get the tickets to the Malibu? So our first recording didn't work correctly, so this is gonna be take two. Let's go! Wait, let's go. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Man, we have been going all week. Wait, is Bunny Films here? Bunny? Bunny? Where's Bunny? Never mind. Is Bunny here? No. Bunny Films was in earlier. He uh, joined us. And I, I can't believe he's gone. He's gone. <gasps> That's okay. Um, The first episode... The first take, I was actually trying to show you guys how to create a t-shirt like this to wear on your avatar, but then it crashed. The program crashed, it ended up crashing Roblox, Roblox locked up, and then my recording software, I had to restart the computer. Oh my goodness. Uh, it had been running consecutively for like a good three months. No problem. No restarts. Mm. So... Uh, I figured it was probably about time. So I did a, a restart. So there we go. And again, I don't know what I'm going to do this time because I don't want to risk uh, trying to crash out the server again because of my, my paint program or whatever it was called. Um, and I don't think it was due to that problem. So we're going to have to figure out what to do. Uh, what should... Oh, sign bases. Yes, I will sign bases this episode. Smiley face, get three wires and have them ready on the wall you would like to see me sign. Go! <clears throat> Sorry. In videos, you're going to sign bases. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. By the way, a uh, huge shout out to Uncreep. Uncreepable Games YT. I saw him on live stream the other day and he kind of freaked out. He was like, oh my god! And he kind of freaked out whenever he came in here as well. But he gave me a bunch of Twitter axes and, and donations and stuff. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Um, what would you say? Would you say to me? Come have it ready for you. Oh, sweet. Sweet. It's all ready. Boom! <laughs> and, oh, did I get him? Almost got him. All right. Coffee bean. Welcome. <laughs> We are in my private server, and what I did is I posted the link inside my Discord for everyone. So, you know, if you're part of the Discord, uh, you get special treatments and stuff sometimes. And this was one of those moments where I just, at random, in general, posted the link to my private channel, or to my private thing. And here we are. Now I'm signing. Oh, Bunny Films! He is the best! <clears throat> Huge shout out to Bunny Films. Bunny, how are you? How are your turtles doing? Um, I don't know how long turtles live. <laughs> so, uh, I know that you've got two box turtles, and they're three-toed box turtles, or no, is it four-toed? Three-toed. I don't remember, but they're adorable and they're awesome. So, uh, I have not kept up on the turtley turtles. Well, that's kind of hard to sign whenever the wire's red like that. Just kind of disappears into the background and all camouflaged. Um, how's everyone doing? Normally, like in the comments, you, get, you guys tell me your stories and, and you tell me how you're doing. And I can sometimes respond to a lot of them. Today was a bit hectic because I work for a company where I'm the application development analyst. I program. I program bots and uh, applications and work-related thingies and today was a bit, a bit hectic I'm not going to lie I was pretty much all over the place putting out fires and fixing things not actual fires but like programming problems and what's crazy is like once I fixed one problem another problem broke so there's a uh, this is going to be totally boring to a lot of you, but to the developers out there in the world, uh, you're going to laugh at me. I had an array called My Access List, and basically what it does, it tells me which locations are allowed to get in certain places, right? And in one of my application's pages, I set that to a list of locations, right? So it's just a, 
uh, a list of abbreviations that correspond to each location's state, right? And that correlation is just a list. So it's like three letters, comma, three letters, comma, three letters, comma, right? Well, at another point, at a different part of the application, I create it into an array, which is a collection of objects. So object one is these three letters. Object two is these three letters. So, um, long story short, every time I fixed uh, array find and list find, it was alternating the type of array it was, or the type of object it was. So, if I used a list find, half the stores would break because they were looking for an array. And if I used an array find, half the other stores, like the other half of stores would break because they were trying to use a list. So, <laughs> I ended up figuring this out uh, right after lunch. So what I did is I created a function at the top that says, does this variable, my access, exist? Yes, then do, do this stuff up here. If it said no, oh gosh, it would create a new array down there at the bottom with was just blank. It was an array. I fixed it to say, you are an array. So if it did exist, it looked and says, is array? Question mark, right? And then if it was true, it didn't do anything. But if it was false, it said, okay, this is a temporary list. Here's your variable and make uh, my access or make temporary list equal my access. And then I had it loop through uh, that list, line, or like store for store or location for location. And it would create it and put it into an array inside my access list. So it was, it was taking the list as a string, turn it into an array and using the array. So I was very proud of myself. Did a great and wonderful job. It was very cool. <sighs> Is he AFK? No, I'm not AFK. I was just I was telling a story. I was telling a story. <laughs> Back in my day of programming, we didn't have things like list and arrays. We had var, and var is all you needed. Var would take you anywhere you wanted to go. You just, if it was a number, you'd say var this, that number, and then you could equal it and it'd be fine. The only problem you'd have is if you had like var uh, animal equals cat. And then you had like var number of animals three, and then you did var number of animals plus animal, it would be one plus cat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, a bit, a bit um, <clears throat> off track today, and I took my, I took my ADHD medicine. I've had coffee. I'm good. I'm just. Not quite all there today. Um, so, huge shout out to um, the mom who was inside the Starbucks um, and with her two children. I, I think they're her kids. With two kids. And um, she was there to get some coffee. And you could tell that it was like, like towards the end of the day. And the mom was like, oh. So the kids ran off and were running around. I turned around and I, like in my COVID mask, I asked, do they watch Roblox? Are they allowed to watch YouTube? And then I handed her one of my cards, and she's like, oh, you're a YouTuber. I'm like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. There you go. So if you're watching the video for right now, or if you're, if you're subscribed now, thank you so much. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. It was nice to meet you. Oh, screenshot, screenshot. There we go. Got it. <sighs> Cheers. <sighs> uh, yes, yes, I want to say hi. <laughs> Woo! And he's like, oh my gosh, he's on my bag. Welcome, buddy. Okay, let's get in this guy's car and let's go. Let's go, buddy. I'm ready to go. Let's go to the next car. The ne next, next one. Let's go. Let's go. Just 
start right here. Can it? Can I get it in between? That's a tight knit area. Do you want? Do you want it on this side or that side? You know what? Bunny, I'm gonna try and get it to fit right here for us. Of course, I'll try not to write over your name, okay? Let's just go right here at the end. Right about there. Perfect, that should squeeze in there. Just right. There we go. And down like that. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Graffiti with Code. Now before we get started, I want to take a moment to thank you for letting us back into your homes and back into your lives. We encourage you to take out your, your wires and graffiti along with us. Now let's go over to the canvas. Let's get started. <sighs> I believe, I believe, every day's a good day in Roblox. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. <clears throat> I believe, I believe, every day's a good day in Roblox. I believe. It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. <coughs> you can almost build with anything. All you have to do is imagine. There are creations here. Start out by believing here. <laughs> this is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm singing, it's actually Bob Ross. And it's the PBS uh, Melody Sheep remix. I miss Bob Ross. I miss Mr. Rogers. And for those of you that don't know who Mr. Rogers is, that was one of my idols growing up. And he very much talked about the things that I talk about. Like, I think, I think that was a big influence to my life in being a good person and being able to talk about emotions and not big dramas, you know? We've got a lot of big stuff going on in the world. Big, big stuff, okay? You got elections, you got presidents, you got... Uh, Black Lives Matter, LGBT, you got all this stuff going on in the news. You've got uh, natural disasters happening, and it's scary, right? But you don't need that to create a conflict in children. I mean, it can be something as simple as going to the dentist, you know, or cleaning your room, you know? And for those of you who, who need it, okay, some of my younger audiences, I'm not going to say your ages because I don't know what your ages are, and I, I can't collect information on anybody under the age of 13, blah, 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 COPA. Um, but I will say that um, if you need a song to sing while you're cleaning up, um, it's uh, pick up, pick up, we're picking up our toys, pick up pick up like good little girls and boys that's what me and my son used to sing when we would pick up our rooms well pick up his room it wasn't my room my room is messy but that's because i'm an adult and i don't have to clean unless i want to i'm just kidding my room's actually pretty clean well not this room this room is a mess <laughs> Code, what are you talking about? I don't know. My ADHD is taking off. Just go with it. We'll, we'll just we'll just hang tonight, and we'll, we'll we're chilling. But seriously, the the conflict that adults have, uh, and that the world has, and the stuff you don't need big drama in your life. You don't need these big things to like to create an emotional state that is very chaotic and very confusing for kids, okay? And for you, okay? Um, we talk about things like single parent households, okay? Whether it's your mom or your dad and whatever the situation is. And it 
to say. We need to be able to talk about that because it's very communicative. Okay, stop. <laughs> Don't you lull me. It's it ain't funny. You're smashing into me with a car. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Cheesy cheese. Here we go. Give another one, just in case. Got it. And it's right next to Bunny. And we we had plenty of room. Look at that. Got it, got it in there. Now that looks a little bit off, but that's, that's okay. That might be the perspective I have. But it says Code Primate, so I'm down. Boy, there's a coffee bean. No, not coffee bean. Who's the, who's the, you? No, it's not you. It's him. It's him. Boom. Okay, go. Go, buddy. So. <laughs> With Bunny. What? So. Seriously. Um, when it comes to things, talk. Alright, kids, talk to your parents. Parents, talk to your kids. And ask them. Ask them emotionally, like, how they're doing for the day. And don't be afraid of answering hard questions. You know? Mom, what does it mean to be a Democrat? Mom, what does it mean to be a Republican? Why are they talking about the GOP? What is what is the NASDAQ? You know? And kind of explain to them what, what stuff is. They're smart. They're very smart. You guys are super smart. The human being is one of the smartest... Like, it is... It is more powerful than any computer. And we just don't know it. Like... Because we're we're we have intuition. Oh my gosh! You want me to sign in here? <laughs> How am I supposed to sign? Uh, <laughs> where am I signing? Bunny signed right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bunny, you like crammed it in there too. <laughs> Use these. Got it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to try and sign on this window down here at the bottom. Here we go. It's going to be this is going to be so tiny. The moment it turns green, I'm going to start clicking. That's too tiny. It's too tiny. It's a tiny toilet. Tiny toilet. Uh. Curse you, tiny toilet. By the way, that's from Despicable Me. Oh, goodness. There we go. And Despicable Me is a, a great example, you know, because in Despicable Me, he adopts three orphan kids. And they turn out to be an awesome family. Of course, he's a mad scientist. Or an evil genius, whatever you want to call it. I guess it would be a mad scientist, wouldn't it? He's a criminal. Whatever the case may be. But... If you also... Oh, gosh. Okay, we need to go out just a little bit more. I hope I'm going to be able to fit this. The perspective is off on this, isn't it? Oh, come on. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's, that's going to be a tight, tight. Hmm, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's on the other guy's fucking shirt. Sure. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
That's like the tiniest signature ever. It's the tiniest code priming I've ever made. That number eight is going to be all up on the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Gal Galaxis, for subscribing to the YouTube channel and becoming part of the Code Primate thingy. Oh, speaking of which, stick around to the end. I've got an announcement and a story. So we got, we're going to have a story time about my my shirts and my my store. So. <laughs> And it's not going to be a bashing, okay? So if, if there's anybody watching this video who works for the company that I'm talking about, it is not going to be a bash, okay? Um, I don't want to talk badly about them. I don't, I don't want to put it into ill light because they are a pretty good company and they were, they were with me at the beginning, so. Ooh, ooh, that is so close. Okay. Last one. Here we go. There's gonna be a tiny eight. It's gonna it's gonna look weird. Hold on. I can't I can't see it. Okay. Hold on. We're we're not gonna put the edges on it. We're just gonna do this. This is gonna look weird. It's gonna look kinda like two Roblox letters or symbols. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. I gotta I gotta come up some. You're gonna have like one of the only eights that looks like this. Okay? I've never done an eight like this before. So hope you don't mind. See, it looks better, but it does, it does look different. Move! Move! I think he heard me. Through the video and in time, he heard me. <laughs> I'm not actually chatting with anybody inside the Discord, so it's just complete. Completely silent. Technically. I mean, besides me talking. There we go. <laughs> it's a tiny eight. <laughs> That is, that is a teeny tiny eight. Oh my goodness. It is adorable. Jeez. Hold on. Let me get let me get off to this side. There you go. There you go, buddy. Take a picture. Oh, did you just teleport to the other side? What in the world was that? Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Code, get in the seat. Okay. Well, I am in the seat. <laughs> Leader Eagle. We're at 23 minutes. How many have I signed? Have I signed like three bases so far? So. There we go. Down we go. Down we go. Hold on. Any moment. Any. Oh, there we go. Whee. Uh, how do I get out of this place? I need. I need to. I need to leave, please. Oh, I can't go out that way. Okay. Maybe if I go... Okay, this way. It's like a little obby. Oh. Whee! <laughs> it's the chicken shrine. <laughs> Alright, coffee bean. I've heard signed coffee, I think. Coffee's like, hey, help! Oh no, buddy. If I haven't signed you, Coffee Bean, message me and said the Discord or send me a tweet. I mean, you, you've got my, my message, so you, you've got access to me. Uh, what was I talking about? There was something important I was going to say. Oh, that's right. So, um, I went yesterday, in yesterday's video, I went out to hellojuniper.com forward slash code primate, which is supposed to be my store, okay? 
and it was not there. So I sent a message to um, Joel, who's my, who's the CEO, and he's like my representative. Like I talked to to Joel directly, and he said that uh, about a month ago they switched over to a new system, a new web page, and any account that had not generated revenue for six months was just kind of disappeared, right? And then he also stated, and it also looked like you went over to Teespring and created a new store. So we thought you had left and gone with Teespring. I'm like, Joel, I've been advertising inside my videos for the past three and a half, four years. They, they are inside my, if you look in the description down below, well, not this one, but yesterday's and every video before that for the last four years, I've always had like, you want a t-shirt? go to this link and it points you to the Hello Juniper. So there, they said um, that that was part of the contract was if I go to another merch, then the contract's done. So um, I'm still talking with them. I didn't realize that. Okay. So about December timeframe back in 2019, right? December time frame, I'd shot him a note saying, Hey, I haven't heard anything from you guys in a little while. I was just wondering, I'm ready for some new merch to, to get some new stuff out there, maybe some pillows and stuff like that. And I, I shot to him. I said, are you guys still interested in me? I, I'm ready to move forward with some new products. And I did get a message back saying, code, you were actually grandfathered in. We've increased the amount of subs that you, you're supposed to have in order to have a storefront. And we're really concentrating on big YouTubers. Now, this is not the first time that I've ever heard this. Big YouTubers, important people, people who bring in views. I've heard it with the Star Program. I've heard it with, uh, with this, with multiple different things. Code, you're just, you're just not that famous, Code. Dude. I've written a book. I've got a 123,000, 124,000 followers or subscribers. I've been on YouTube. I've worked with a lot of the big YouTube names that are in the star program. I worked with a lot of people before they were famous and I brought them up and I, I did, I have done a lot of stuff. Now I am not the hyper kinetic energy that you see in most YouTubers. I am nothing like what most YouTubers are expected to be. But I won't sit around here and take that. I'm not important. That's not, that's not true. Because I think my content reaches and affects so much more than normal Roblox YouTubers. So I'm going to continue to send in my request for a star program. I'm going to continue to work with YouTubers who are tiny and small, and I will continue to talk directly to my fans and talk about things on my channel that just aren't normal. That it's, it is not normal for this kind of video to get this many views at all. Okay. And you guys love it. I love doing it. And I feel good about giving you the advice and giving you the information. And I need to take a drink of coffee mm. right now because I think it's very relatable. I think there are so many people out there in the world who are just like me, who have this feeling of insecurity of the everyday life that you 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 know that it will be okay. You have hope. You have faith in humanity. I know I do. And I know I complain a lot, but I also have a very big insight to like the way that people act, the way that people present themselves. And especially, <laughs> especially in my emails, whenever I'm speaking with people that I work with, there's a lot of people who try and maintain this business aspect with me, just like my publisher with, uh, with, um, Adams media, right? She sent me this like official email. I'm like, okay, stop, <laughs> stop. How are you? How have you been? What are you doing? 
and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm just about to have uh, my first baby, and this is what we're doing, and I'm going on maternity leave, and like, talk to me, talk to people like people. Don't try and business it up, all right? And if you get an email from someone who, it doesn't look professional or it doesn't, don't judge them by that. Do not judge them by the the clothes that they wear. Do not judge them by the, the book cover, if you will. Because there's a lot of good people out there in the world. And there's a lot of good looking people who are horrible on the inside. So I don't wanna I don't wanna sit here and sugarcoat it and be like, oh yeah, they're they're really popular. They must be a nice person. Not true. It goes both ways. Okay? There could be somebody that's completely introvert, you would never know it, but they could be your best friend and you just didn't give them the time of day because they didn't look good. So think about that. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, um, so I did not leave Hello Juniper, but if the contract is, it contract is true in the way that it's stated that if I go, if I leave Hello Juniper to go and create another merchandise store, then yes, technically my contract with Hello Juniper is void. I'll wait to hear back from Joel, but I still have my Teespring stuff open. Now, if that's going to be a problem for Hello Juniper, I can close that one down and keep the Hello Juniper, but I'm gonna need some, like, something. Like, I need new merch. I, I, my coffee cup, a mouse pad, that was great for 98, for 2015. It's 2020. Where's my spinners? I, I need I need Code Primate fidget spinners. Oh, gosh. I, I need Code Primate fidget spinners. You know, I need Code Primate logoed disco bottles. And oop. So where's my where's my Code Primate doing a dab sticker that says outro at the bottom? You know, we we can market this thing. I can do a lot of cool stuff. And that's that's where I'm going with it. So, if if the contract's void, fine. Uh, no more Hello Juniper. I didn't I didn't put it inside this one just in case because I don't want to continue if they're not going to continue. And you know what? I'm not going to talk bad about them because they were with me whenever I hit that fifty the uh, twenty five thousand fifty thousand whatever whatever the number was at the time and I hit that number. I mean they worked with me big time and they drew up the contract. They did everything. They hosted everything. I got 55%, well, I got 60, they got 40 of whatever the profit was. Now it was marginal. And I mean, it was like three or four bucks, maybe a month, you know? And I'm okay with that. For those of you that purchased one of those shirts or purchased one of those mugs, if you have Code Primate merch and it's from Hello Juniper, it just got really rare. <laughs> so if you happen to have one of those, congratulations. Um, you now have a piece of memorabilia that will never get created again if Hello Juniper is closed down. So, hold on to it, okay? I know there's a lot of youngsters out there that have like the original uh, t-shirts and some of the original hoodies. Don't wear them and, and pack them up, put them into a little box, put them off to the side, and then when I do hit that 10 million subscriber mark that you guys keep talking about, you're like, Code, when are you gonna get 10 million subscribers? Cause you're so cool. Well, if that ever happens, and you know, if my quest for immortality happens, then you'll have this thing that you could put on eBay and pay for college, if, if it's true. But stop messaging me. I promise I'm not locked up. <laughs> are you frozen? <laughs> No, I'm not frozen. I'm passionate. Pa passionate. Hey, Google, how do you spell passionate? Passionate is spelled P A S S I O N A T E. No, I'm not frozen. I'm passionate. <laughs> I'm ranting again <laughs> so I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that it doesn't hurt my feelings whenever I get told hey you're not good enough for this but at the same time I'm not gonna sit here and like cry over spilt milk or, 
that's not really a term of it. I'm not going to cry about their opinion of me because I already know the awesomeness that I have, that I've done, and I'm humbled by it that you guys still, to this day, think so highly of me. Thank you. I, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> like, you guys are awesome. I know you tell me that I'm awesome all the time. Code, keep up the great videos. Keep keep doing the awesomeness that you do. Just know that it comes with a grain of salt. A lot of the times, I just can't get ahead. I, uh... <laughs> Another one. PAX. All right? The PAX Online is happening this September. And I got invited to create a panel. Literally, I was going to go and sit on a panel... And the title of it was called um, Family Friendly, colon, Do Good Guys Finish Last? That was going to be the panel. It was going to be family friendly. Do good, good guys really finish last? And I got a rejection. <laughs> they said, you can't make a panel. There was too many. And we chose somebody else. We chose other people above and beyond now granted there were probably a lot of submissions because of the corona and because of everything else i just found it so ironic that the thing i was talking about the thing that i was going to create a panel about got rejected in the same manner as like hey you're not good enough for the roblox program hey you're not you're not big enough to be called a youtuber hey you're not you're not good enough no I'm good. I'm really good. I've been doing this a long time. I've, I've been around. And I know that deep down inside, I am a good person. And I try every day to help somebody and to become better at myself. Because I know I'm not perfect. I am far from perfect. I have my own flaws. I have my own quirks and things that I need to improve. Which is why I tell you every single day, you can do better. You can be a good person. It doesn't matter what somebody calls you. It's how you react to that person. It's how you handle yourself. So, with that being said, and with my 37 minute video of a rant and just talking and not really playing a game that I love dearly, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say bye. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it. Shout it to the world, tweet about it, whatever you guys want to do. That's your choice. You don't have to do any of it. If you want to just sit here and watch the video, you go for it. It's 100% free. I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for things. I love you guys. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Wait, is it Thursday? What is today, Google? Steven! Today is Wednesday, so that means this video is going to be released on Thursday, which means happy Thursday. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. Steven, roll that beautiful outro. Outro. Are you guys still here? The uh, Teespring store should be down below. Or if you just go to teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash Something like that. You'll find it.